you're watching Appalachian Axe Works on YouTube and this is a what's in the box video so let's take a look and see what we got today. All right let's take a look and see what we got here. So first up let's see this is a nice little uh, cross peen hammer or tenor's hammer or whatever you want to call it. Love these little hammers. This one doesn't have any markings on as you can see. Probably did have at one time but it cleaned up real nicely. It's a good tool and if you know if you don't have one of these little cross beam hammers in your toolbox you don't think you need one of these until you start using one and then you're like hey how come I didn't use one of these before so but this is a cool little hammer head and it's ready to go it's ready to hang on a new handle and put back to work uh, here's another cool like cross peen hammer and this is a David Madoff if you know anything, made all tools or there's kind of a little cult following around made all tools. So uh, we usually do pretty good whenever we find some made all hammers. They usually sell pretty fast. And this one turned out nice. Nice cross peen. So turned out really good. The the stamp is really faint, but it's right in here. This is D made all cast steel. So cool, cool item. Um, here we go. This is a cool one. Little all steel wood chisel. Neat. Definitely needs to be sharpened, but it cleaned up real nicely. Um, probably seen this in a previous What's in the Box video. Right after it got picked, it was all rusty. So, but you can see the the stamp right there. It's a hood number four. So, pretty cool item. You can see the mushroom, and it was well used. And we usually don't clean the mushroom and off, but sometimes, you know, I think it just kind of gives it a little bit of character, and it doesn't doesn't hurt it at all. So it's still, if once it's sharpened, it's a good tool, and it'll work just fine. Uh, this is a cool item here. This is an advertising screwdriver. It says you can see it says. Amico Gas, the American oil company. And then on the side it says American straight gasoline on it. Really neat. All metal. Tips a little funky, but it's not too bad. Cool item. I don't mess with these too much because most of the time when I find these, they're in really rough shape. This one happened to be not bad, so I'll I scooped it up but a lot of times people use these for pry bars and chisels and all kinds of stuff and they're, they're just in really rough shape so I don't mess with them too much but this one wasn't bad you could still see the the uh, advertising on it so I thought it was pretty cool cleaned up nicely um, another one of my favorites if you've watched videos in the past you know I love these box terriers or nail pullers whatever you want to call these crate hammers um, I call it a crate hammer there's a bunch of different names for them some you'll hear guys call this a, a produce hammer uh, you know there a lot of times guys will carry these and a, like a little pouch on their side and they'll use it if they're working in a warehouse or something to open crates with but they're really neat and this is a Knox Tox you can see there it says Knox Tox Warranted forged steel, and it's made by Bridgeport. Bridgeport Hardware, made in the USA. Cool item. Again, this is another one of those tools. I have, you know, I love using these. They're really handy. Have one of these in my toolbox. If you don't have one of these in your toolbox, and you're somebody who, you know, is pulling nails or screws or anything like that, these are really handy. Here's another one. Same thing. It's a box. This one actually says Box Terrier on it. It says Bridgeport Hardware right there. Made in the USA. Warranted tool steel. So cleaned up really nicely. And you can say, see, this was well used. It's got some mushroom in here, mushroom in on the hammer faces, but still a really good tool. And uh, it's cleaned up good and it's ready to go to work. Um, Love finding these. You guys see these in my in my videos a lot, and all kinds of linemen's pliers of different sizes. Love finding Utica stuff. 
So this is a Utica Tools, you can see right there. Utica, New York. It's a 50-7, so it's a 7-inch pair. They cleaned up really nicely. The cutters are good. They function great. I mean, I literally, once I got them cleaned up, I put just a drop, like one small little drop of oil in there, and they're just nice and butter smooth. So, look at that. Nice. Nice vintage pliers. And again, if you watch any of my past videos, you know I clean these up all the time. So, uh, more pliers. Uh, Barcolo Buffalo. This is an old school kind of needle nose plier. Uh, pretty cool. He's had like a chrome plating on them, but the chrome plating has worn off. So it's still a good tool. They still work perfectly fine. Uh, neat item. Pexto. Pexto item. Love finding Pexto items. Again, here's a nice kind of adjustable pliers. They kind of got a needle nose shape to them. This is a bigger set, so you can see, you know, there's the Barcola Buffaloes. And this is more of a standard size adjustable plier, but they cleaned up real nicely. You can see the Pexto logo really nicely there. And again, that's Peck, Stowe, and Wilcox is what that where that Pexto came from. Um, Ward's Master Vanadium. Cool logo. See the logo in there. Really neat logo. Ward's Master. Ward's Master was sold at Montgomery Ward's. Really neat. It was pitted, but it cleaned up really nicely. It's solid. Straight claw hammer. And, you know, once it's hung on a handle, it, this is a great tool. Lasts for many, many, many years to come. So, but again, neat, neat logo. Um, plum. Always looking for plum stuff. Plum. Plum tools. See, it's got a nice stamp in it. This one cleaned up. And you know, many names behind these. Half hatchet, carpenter's hatchet. I just call it a hatchet. But, you know, I always get, when I call it a hatchet, I'll get guys in the comments go, that's not a hatchet, that's a carpenter's hatchet. Or they'll, something like that. Yes, it has many names. I just call it a hatchet. So, but it's cool. It's got the nail puller. Cleaned up real nicely. This one's in great shape. It'll sharpen up. Real nice. Even the hammer face is really good on this one. So, cool item. There's another one. This one's got, this one says Plum USA stamped on it. Cleaned up real nicely. Hammer, again, the hammer face is pretty good. And it's in great shape, and it'll be a, a great tool to, you know, hang on a new handle and in your toolbox or throw it in your behind your truck seat or something this one's cool this is a ec simmons and simmons hardware it's a cool item this is an older carpenter's hatchet see it's got the nail pullers on it a lot of times we'll find these and the nail pullers will be broke off but these are in decent shape just a cool old and somebody took real care when sharpening this you can see they didn't gouge it up at all so whenever whoever sharpened it whoever owned this previously took really good care of sharpening so it's not gouged up they didn't use a heavy file or didn't use a a uh a grinder or anything like that on it they probably must have used a a belt sander or belt grinder on it or or a very fine file or sharpened zooms to keep it sharp so but nice shape nice item really neat and then last but not least it's one of my favorite items to find is belt knap bluegrass this one's got an excellent stamp you see there belt knap bluegrass trademark louisville usa it's excellent the hammer face, not too bad, a little ding, a couple little dings around, but the logo is where the money should add on this. And uh, it's in good shape. It'll sharpen up nicely. This will hang real nicely on a new handle. And uh, it'll. this is a keeper here. This is a nice one. Um, 
I love finding bluegrass stuff. I've mentioned that in other videos. Bluegrass stuff is highly collectible. There's a lot of guys out there. Some guys that just collect bluegrass axes and hatchets. There's other guys that collect certain specific categories of bluegrass tools. And then there's guys out there that collect anything bluegrass. And bluegrass is a hardware company. And they pretty much put their logo on just about anything. You can find meat grinders and all kinds of files and rasps and all kinds of household stuff that had the bluegrass stamp on it. So, But the most popular thing is the tools. And I love finding these. They're, it's a beautiful item. It's well made. And it, this is set up to last uh, many, many more years. So there you have it. That's another What's in the Box video. There you have it. That's another What's in the Box video. If you like what you see, share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out some of our vintage items, the links are in the descriptions. And we'll see you on the next video.